Welcome to Soft Bites Podcast. Your life, your dentistry. We talk about ways to have more fun and meaning in one of the coolest and most rewarding professions in medicine. Conversations on how to bring awareness, create a healthy workplace, and provide emotional insights to make dentistry a fulfilling activity while making space for one's wonder, creativity, and freedom. Here are your hosts, Manuela and George Andre. Hello, everyone. We are back. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Andre. How are you? I'm fine. And you? How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm very happy to be here with you. I missed you. Uh, for uh, uh, the ones Same that are me. yeah, the ones that are listening to us don't know, but we we just had a, a big break of uh, almost two months of Force. recording. Of regarding the, yeah, of regarding the, the, the podcast. So it's very, it's very good to be here with you talking. I missed you. I told you I missed you. Uh, and, um, and, and welcome to everyone that is listening to, to, to us. And uh, um, I, I, I'm very uh, excited about uh, talking about this theme here today uh, with you because mm -hmm. this came to me uh from our last conversation i think it was not not the one that was recorded but that you mentioned uh that you now needed a little bit more time when you get back from holidays or from your courses you needed a little bit more time to be before starting your your clinical work again and yeah. and I, yeah. I i i thought about that and also because i i'm working with um with a colleague that uh, also uh, she described me that she had a lot of difficulties on handling mm -hmm. uh, how to make the transition from work because it was it was so intense during the day from work to to home to her personal life so i think yeah. it's uh, uh, very useful if we can talk about how to manage the mental work home transition either from just the normal yeah. day in the clinic and then going home but also when we have holidays and then have to return to 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 work to the clinic or just like you that you you uh give a lot of courses and and uh, travel all around the world and then from that to your clinical uh work so but before we dive in I know that you've been traveling a lot. Tell tell us about uh, your <laughs> your last trips. I know that you've been in South America. You were yeah, in, 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 in where was year, it in in uh, uh, where was it? That I you was uh, the last the last trip. I was in Chile, yeah. in Santiago. I was in Lima, in uh, in Peru, uh -huh. and then I was in La Paz in Bolivia. And before that, I was in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That was all. Uh, all it was like one week in Malaysia, then about two weeks in Latin America, and I had um, so basically I would I would probably be lecturing about half of the time, and the other half would be just to another place, is just to travel mm -hmm. arrangements. And but I usually I usually get some time to not only to 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 work. I, I actually, I. I, I can't say it is really only work. I mean, I, it's just not not that I can I cannot divide. So I'm I'm there working or I'm that I'm there having fun. I I pretty much find it very interesting and still very stimulating to me, especially if I go to a new place like Malaysia or even I go to Latin America. And Latin America for me is just like this passion that I have, and I always have fun, even when I'm even when I am working. I I don't know maybe it's just me but I um I it's it's very difficult for me to make that distinguish between working and having fun because I really I really enjoy uh, uh, lecturing and especially the challenge of speaking in, in Spanish that by the way is much more difficult for me much more tiring than speaking in English I think English is a much much easier language um, but um, and I usually go with colleagues for this for these trips. I usually uh, bring some colleagues to Malaysia. I brought some colleagues, and to Latin America, it was I was brought by by Paulo. And Paulo was always tell he's always telling me that speaking in Spanish is the most uh, is the most tiring language to to give courses because we are Portuguese and we think that we know a little bit of Portuguese, but we 
we do a lot of mistakes and uh, and but but they understand us and they all they always say that we are that we good that we speak Spanish uh, decently, but uh, like I was saying, I, I don't find that that it is a big difference between working and having fun. Of course, there's all this traveling and there's lack of sleep and there's lots of airports and there's the schedule and there's always the the stress of be, of, sp of speaking and sometimes giving hands on courses in in other premises and there's there's something that is missing here or there and uh, I mean you you are. It's it's always uh, it's always a challenge to be lecturing in a place where you're not used to. But 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 I find it well. At least I try to make the effort of having fun throughout the, throughout the journey, and I think that's um, that's something that I that, that that I really I like it. And I think I think that even in even in the our in my regular practice, I try to do the same thing. I mean, we have to we have to try to be have some fun in what we are doing and we have to find the thrill of that even if it is the thrill of making things, things the best that we can and I think that's we, we we should always get a stimulus of, of that but but yes I've been I've been traveling quite a lot and I think you've been traveling as well and um and life's good I can't complain honestly <laughs> I can't complain uh and, let, um, let me just yeah. make make uh, a note here because what you said I, I find it very interesting it this means that you have the intention of having fun in what you are doing oh yes right i i, I wanted to, i wanted to exp I, that's what i wanted to express and i was not capable of, thank you for that exactly i want to have fun basically while i work so you I want set to, that intention that, for you yes right yes for your days yes, yes. Okay. So no matter what happens, I, I I will even within the chaos, or even if things don't go as well, or even if I don't perform as well, I really want to take advantage of the experience and and try to find the positive. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, I think I think that's something that you train, mm -hmm. but uh, but you have to have the the will to do that. I mean, and mm -hmm. I, I try to. Mm -hmm. Not always easy, but I try to. Yeah, because. Uh, I, I find it. I, I'm I'm just uh, uh, putting the note here because uh, for the ones that are listening, they can say, "Ah, yeah, okay, he's in South America lecturing. Of course, uh, he <laughs> will have fun." But you you said it also. That's what. But also in my clinical work and in my uh, routine work, yes. that's what I yes. practice. Also, yes. I I. Yes try to have fun yeah. i have so you have that intention and so it's just not because yeah, you're let, let me give you an Malaysia example Malaysia or something it's, it's because you set that intention yeah. uh, for yourself mm -hmm. yeah it's very interesting you, you you get to know me too well by now it's almost scary no I, you know? no, no 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 <laughs> but said it's true, it, it's it was true. your words <laughs> it was no your no words. but I, I didn't express it the, the way that you did it and let me give an example which is for example i came back and i was immediately thrown into the into the, the, the melting pot of yeah. my practice yeah. yes <laughs> that is expanding that says that 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 best that went from three assistants over the last year to six uh and the other one that was pregnant she came back so and and I, i'm also delegating a lot of administrative work to one of my new assistants so i i'm i'm, I'm just dropping a lot of yeah. responsibilities to her but that's all a transition and you have to train them, right? And you have, there's a lot of things going on and then there's a new chair that's going to be installed. Um, I mean, so many things that, and then the, uh, we, in Portugal, we are in the, the process of um, regulations of x-rays and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things going on. And I was like, there was one of those days that I was there and I was like, um, all these things were happening and, I was almost in autopilot in a way of saying, okay, what's the good in this? What's the good thing about this? How can you, how can you, uh, uh, what, how can you have fun uh, between all this? And, uh, and I was thinking, well, it's kind of funny to, if you look at like from a childish perspective, like from, from a child point of view, it's like you are constructing something, right? Like, like you are, I won't say manipulating people, but you are, Creating a team is something very interesting, right? And, and, and I'm not saying that from a, from an ego perspective. I'm saying that I mean it's 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 good to try to implement the the a team and try to see 
the personality that the team itself makes from them, right? Because, I mean, you create something and you try to create the, the systems and you, to, you try to create the culture. I mean, you try, but it's also very interesting to step aside and see exactly their own, uh, because I think the, the culture is, is something you create, but it's also something that arises, isn't it? And if it's in good in good foundation, I think it, it it's very interesting. But I was thinking to myself, how cool is this? Yes, there, there's a lot of case, but it's it's actually very cool. It's very challenging, and uh, it reminds me of that book of Ryan Olly that that he says that the obstacle is the way. And it's true. I think that we have to find ways that to look at what we believe to be an obstacle and actually make it funny, make it make it interesting. And it's not about overcoming the obstacle because. Actually, you you are ne- you never overcome everything, right? You always have some challenges, but to look at the process and try to 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 enjoy the process and try to I, I know it sounds cliche, but actually, uh, when you are um, and, and I think that the, the, any dentist that owns a clinic sometimes, and I, of course, it takes years, but. I'm pretty sure that every dentist that tries to create a clinic goes through phases where he where he finds glimpses where he says, "Well, this is really funny." Yes, it's chaos, but it's it's actually quite funny. And I, I have to say that those glimpses for me have been getting larger and larger and larger and larger and more constant. Uh, so it's like it's not like you are okay. You have a success and you are very happy. Then, but you know that next there will be a challenge. I think that at least in my perspective. For this year, for me, has been like a more stable, and these glimpses of happiness have become more stable and larger. Uh, as as you say, I set the intention to try to be. I, I wouldn't say happy, but 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 to try to feel um, interested and curious of what's going on, which which I think is something because curiosity is happiness is is happiness, isn't it? I mean, you cannot be curious and be unhappy, is it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very yeah, interesting, I and I, 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 I think agree. that's a word that, that better, mm-hmm. I think that's a word that better describes it. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't know if I, I just posted recently on Instagram a movie. Have, have you seen that movie Studs? No, um, no, no. I still didn't have the Jonah time. Hill. I know, I know. You have it's to see. It's very good. It was you have to see. It, it so was recommended already see, by a lot of friends. When, yeah. Yeah. When you see it, just text me to see what you, okay. what you thought about. I I thought it was really brilliant, really innocent really brilliant and i think that you will find amazing the movie honestly it's so simple it, it's it's very interesting i'm not going to spoil it for you but one of the things one of the things basically it's a, a conversation between john and his own shrink and um it's one of the things that we talk a lot about in the course which is the the transition between more traditional psychology and a more more uh, action based psychology which is like not so much based on the past of the patient, but based on what you can do right now. Mm-hmm. What's the actual steps? And um, and a lot of a lot of that has to do with many things that we give that we talk on the course that you talk on the course. And I think that you'll find it really really sweet. It's a very very nice movie. It's it's, it's very the characters are really authentic, and I, it's probably one of the best movies that I've seen in. I'll, I'll, I'll see it. I'm, very, I'm, very I'm saving it for. Yeah, let, I was let, saving it for when I was available, totally available to 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 do it. I will, it I will is see it. very good. Yeah, but, but one of the things, one of the things that it talks in the movie is exactly that: is is that pain will always be present, um, mm-hmm. struggle will always be present, and you always have to work. Mm-hmm. So there's pain. There's challenges, and you always need to be, to keep working. So, if if that is something that is part of your life, why not embrace it and and, and enjoy it and see the best of everything? That's uh, that's. I think that's but a I, metaphor sorry. for the, for dentistry because what I see yeah. sometimes is that yeah. is, is that is that these colleagues dentists uh, trying to find this uh, zen free uh, dentistry. You know <laughs> that it's like. They yes, yeah. want to have zero problems, yeah. zero stress, zero emotional no, no. Uh, stress, and that's not possible. And they have to embrace that. Yeah. They have to embrace that. Yeah. And if you and if yeah. you train the other part, because if what you focus on is on the on the stress, is on the 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 the, the suffering, is on the the all. 
all you do is reacting and all you do is 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 grow the the those those things if on the other hand you see you you cultivate curiosity you you train what you do you what you just said the intention of of having fun the intention of 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 the beginner's mind that you that you said also like uh, seeing things as a as a as a child then you have a, you you completely change your your perception and you can focus on on the on the good part no, of course always uh, having the awareness that that there is also uh, of course uh, a bad part that the it, it's impossible to have a stress free dentistry is impossible to have uh, zero problems in dentistry yeah. uh, but you can balance the 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 the, the plates yeah. and uh, you can you can after that you can enjoy it and you can have fun uh, with it but yeah. curiosity it's a very important skill and i think it's something that all dentistries all dentists have uh, in the beginning and it's something very um uh uh, inatu. How do you say that in English? Sorry. <laughs> innate. I think yeah. it's innate. It's, it's something that all dentists have in, in, a, in a, yeah. a very easy way, but over the time, especially if they have, if they spend their days just putting out fires, you know, and just reacting, they yeah. they, they forget about yeah. it because they don't have the time of the or the energy uh, to 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 yeah. to cultivate yeah. it. I think. So, I, yeah, I, I think that that there are there are there are. I was thinking about what you were saying, and it's true that there will always be pain, and there will, and you always need to accept a certain amount of of distress. I think that if, as long as you set the culture and you show it for yourself that you want to respect people no matter what happens. I mean, you may disagree with people, you may, but if, if you set a culture where respect and saying sorry and say thank you, if, if if that's something that is really present. Um, and you want to have a drama-free places, everybody understands, oh, this is the culture that we want to implement. I mean, uh, yes, there will be problems, but we are here to respect each other. These are the things that, as they are. Even if we don't disagree in the future, we, we are here. We will still be friends and stuff like that. I mean, if, if we all act as grown-ups, and to act as grown-ups, it also means to be very open, isn't it? And, to be, and, and especially from the leader, it means to be very open and very and, vulnerable. And to- and let me just add to be self-aware and to take responsibility. That's very important also. Yes, yes. And to say, and I think that if you are in a place where everybody feels comfortable to say sorry after making a mistake, if, if it's something that is normalized, for me, I think that's one of the tips that really lowers drama and makes people feel more comfortable. And i rather have that. For me, it's much more important that, I mean, the culture where everybody feels safe to say sorry and to admit a mistake, start by, starting by the leader, right? But if everybody feels safe to admit a mistake and to say sorry, for me, that's much more important than a picture at the Christmas dinner of the annual Christmas dinner where everybody says they are a family and stuff like that. I mean, that's just a byproduct. I think that the most important thing is actually what happens outside the team building events that are public that people take pictures of. And I think if people understand that off the highlights and off the social, off social media, people really care about them and try to, to implement a culture where it is safe to do a mistake, uh, then I think that you are setting the ground for really being curious and having fun mm-hmm. and having acceptance yeah. in, the, in your practice. And uh, I think that's... that's um, Something for me that really is important. Really is important. Yeah, I don't know. You know something. Sometimes I talk a lot about my staff and stuff. One of the, one of you know something. One of the episodes we should actually ask a couple of them to come here and see if it is exactly as I say. I would love not. that. Yes, yes because yes. it seems like. <laughs> It, se- it, seems that, that, yes. it seems that whenever I'm talking, I do and I do and I this and I that. But I, I, that. You know, actually, it would be funny to have them here to say, no, actually, it's, it's, it's full of shit. Yeah. It's all lies. It's, it treats us like shit. No, I'm joking. Okay, I will arrange it. I will, I <laughs> that will be something. That would be something fun. Okay. To so. have a couple of them, assistants and, and, and doctors. Yeah. Go, go, going back to our to our subject. Tell me before we we yeah. speak about the 
the transition between um, work home yeah. uh, after a, a busy day in the practice. Yeah. Um, because we start talking about um, this, the, the your trips. So why do you need, for example, why do you need now more time to recover before you start your clinical yeah. work? Because I think this can be also not only, uh, okay, you are doing something dentistry related. So you are lecturing and mm -hmm. it's still dentistry, but it's not yeah. clinical work. Um, yeah. But yeah. also we can, we can talk about, for example, when we go on holidays uh, or because... Yeah why do we need why yeah. it's important to have some time to recover before we get back to the to the clinical work uh i think there are several you, ways it's now that you need time or you always things. need it or before you like arrive from a flight I from chile I've... at uh, 11 o'clock in the evening and that the other day at nine o'clock you were working <laughs> in the practice yeah, but for example, the last time that I came from Malaysia, I came from Malaysia on Monday morning because I had some some troubles in the schedule, mm -hmm. and I worked on Monday afternoon, and mm -hmm. um, that is uh, that was that was actually quite quite okay. It's not something that I that I I, I didn't want to. I I usually prefer to arrive in one day, and um, and uh, have at least I don't know half a day at least of if I, if I arrive in one day in the evening. I would like I'd like to work only the next day, next day in the medium, only in the afternoon. I mean, just have a, a morning or a, an afternoon mm -hmm. or a day to chill out. I think that would be the best thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but sometimes that happens. I, I think you also have to uh, get into context that um, we we are uh, me and my team. We are highly uh, we are very effective communicators. I mean, we work we we we. All my assistants check their email twice a day, and we have a WhatsApp group, so we are very, very efficient. So um, communication is very, is very easy between us, and uh, and we have and the schedule is pretty much uh, organized. I mean, I'm, I know exactly what I'm going to do. There are there are almost no surprises, and I also have a team that backs up my emergencies and stuff. So. So there's that part. I mean, it's not like I'm put into the fire of um, of emergencies and stuff like that. So I know exactly what's going on. So that, that's very important. So I know I know what what where I'm going to. Mm -hmm. So um, you think that one of the things to reduce uh, stress, anxiety for going back to work, yeah. it's to know exactly what. You, yeah. to expect when you go back Absolutely. to work right Absolutely. Mm -hmm. i mean it, it it i i know my this may sound very very basic but i have access in my cell phone to all of the schedule all my staff all my staff they have access in their cell phones to the schedule and to the files of each patient we all have access to the dropbox um so we we are very effective communicators. I mean, every if any any dentist anywhere in the world, as long as he has Wi-Fi, he can know exactly. He can look at the file of the patient. He can look at the photos of the patient. Uh, if I need to talk to them directly, I do talk to them directly. I mean, we have some hygiene policy regarding WhatsApp. I mean, they and and emails. They are none of them is obliged to uh, to respond or watch or see emails out of working hours uh, or during weekend none of them is, is allowed to, is allowed no they, they cannot they cannot they can they are allowed not to see that unless it's like an emergency something then we we call them but it's very rare that, that happens uh, but we have a whatsapp group where uh, and where everything that I that I believe to be uh, good for the group I post there um, but yes I think I think it's really important to know exactly what is going on how is the schedule going to be and if there is anything out of the schedule, my my dental assistants would let me know as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And I always um, and I, I'm always aware of of exactly what I am going to do. So in that in that way, yes, we are we so, are organized. This does not mean that it's not hard to go back to work, of course. Yeah, but it is. You would say that it's almost impossible for you to arrive yeah. and to have like your nine yeah. o'clock patient. Imagine that you start working at night 
that you have your nine o'clock patients plus two two emergencies? No, no, that would I would be, I would we would be prepared for that. Uh -huh. They they wouldn't allow that to to happen. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't allow that to happen mm -hmm. because it's not good. It's not good for anyone. Mm -hmm. Someone would be seeing them, um, or if that would happen, I would have I would have known a few days in advance, mm -hmm. or even I, I would have known that, and we would, mm -hmm. we would have organized ourselves and would, would, we would prepare ourselves for that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. from that sense, yes, we are we are we 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 prepare this we prepare our days. I mean, it's. Uh, we have a very good communication regarding that schedule and, and what mm -hmm. we have. No one, no one goes to an appointment without knowing exactly what they should be doing. Of course, it could be in a control appointment and they could diagnose a caries and they would do a restoration. But every, it's very rarely that something like that happens. Mm -hmm. It's almost impossible mm -hmm. that happens. Okay, no, I think I think that's good. I think that's good. It's just because uh, it happens, you know, in certain uh, clinics, and it's yeah, a major. It, it uh... can happen, but it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I understand. I mean, but but you know, I think that uh, if you let if if you let that happen, I mean, if you go to your practice and it can happen to be a lot of emergencies there. I mean, there's some sort of bad communication of disorganization of the system because that's not good for anyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have yeah, to. Maybe. There needs to be a system to deal with emergencies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Cannot it. Book, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. It also can yeah, mean not that you are in a agenda. place that uh, okay, it works with a lot of emergencies, and then you need to address that. Yes. So you need to have a system in place to, yes. to manage a, yes, the, the emergencies because uh, if if. Uh, someone arrives and it had the nine o'clock patient and plus uh, other appointments I it's it's a day that's not going to 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 start well and it's not yeah. going to, yes. to 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 go well yes uh, so yes. I, it's it's uh, I, I think it was very um, important what you what you, what you said so to to be able uh, to 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 have that uh, control in what you what you you are expected. Yeah. I mean, to 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 do. I think that's very that's very important. And also, you said a very important thing also about about boundaries because I I I think that uh, this is uh, this work uh, home uh, transition. Uh, you have to to really have to 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 set boundaries because nowadays I think all practice have a, a WhatsApp uh, group. They all it's the yeah. way that they all. Yeah. Uh, communicate, yeah. and um, it was but very there needs interesting. To be some because, hygiene there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It, it. This summer, I had a lot of uh, messages of colleagues uh, asking about that, uh, that they were having troubles and how to deal mm. uh, during mm. their uh, vacation time with the with the uh, WhatsApp yeah. group because it was stressful uh, for for them. <laughs> Yeah, they 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 are encouraged not to see the messages. If it's something in if it's really an emergency, we would text them and contact them and call them. But it's not. Uh, they are encouraged not to see the WhatsApp mm -hmm. outside of working hours, vacation. Mm -hmm. they, they are encouraged not to do that. Mm -hmm. But it, it's if there is an emergency, we'll call them directly. But it, yeah. don't you think that it's important that from the moment that uh, there is a WhatsApp group. That you what you are mm -hmm. are uh, Set, part of this of WhatsApp group. That also mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. those uh, rules of hygiene, just like you said, that are also mm -hmm. uh, set. Mm -hmm. And if they are not, yeah, then the professional is entitled to say, "Look, during my uh, vacations, I will not be seeing uh, the WhatsApp uh, group. So if you have really something important, uh, please." Uh, yeah, uh, but text me or call me. Yeah, I, I, I think that, uh, of course, they are they are entitled to do that. But I, I think that that it would be unnecessary. I, I think it, it really is a beginner's mistake if the if the leadership or the management of the practice does not has the. You would be surprised. The willingness. <laughs> of the, I think really. No, I, 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 but but it, it is. It it really is. It, it is a really really basic and naive mistake. And to, up to a point that there's also let some legislation regarding that, I think, in some countries. I mean, it's it's completely uh, counterproductive if you don't have that rule. Mm 
Because people, the thing is that if a dentist is in a practice where there is a WhatsApp group and that rule is not made initially by the managers, it's very likely that he feels a little bit uncomfortable by having to tell them that. And some people may misinterpret that or something a little bit more always not that motivated. So I, I think if you, if you as a manager, if you uh, leave that gap that someone has to tell you that they will not be answering WhatsApp messages unless there are emergencies regarding a patient or something, which even still they should be, because if they write everything down, they should be contacted, right? But sometimes it may happen. There, I mean, there's a, once a year it can happen, something like that, that really, look, we really need to talk to you because this or that. That's really something. But even that, that should be like uh, an exception. There should be like a text before, or we have, we have to talk about this, if you don't mind. But if you as a manager, if you, um, if you create a situation where someone has to tell you that they should not be answering emails or calls or that are not emergent, that are not um, urgency, I think you, it, it really is a problem with the, with the management. And I, really, I think it's really a naive, a naive mistake and a beginner's mistake if you don't set that policy. Because every, everyone, if you set that policy, I can guarantee you, guarantee 100% that people will be more engaged in the WhatsApp group. I can guarantee you. That's human nature. I can guarantee you. If you give them the freedom not to need to see the WhatsApp group outside working hours, if you give them the freedom, I guarantee you they will be more motivated and they will take more response. They will be more take more responsibility using the WhatsApp group. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, but I think it's very uh, yeah, it's very important to set to set those uh, rules, and I um. I don't know. I think you're being very optimistic. Optimistic, I think. <laughs> no, I think maybe uh, I am being very. But, maybe, but it, that reveals maybe a lot because of dysfunction. It goes back to what we we said also because dentists, most of the times, dentists are the 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 practice owners, and they have to do the the management also, and it's too much. They don't have the time, so there are certain so, details that uh, that go beyond. They, uh, but look, let uh, me. Get, let me, send, let me give you a very good tip. Gmail, and I do this all the time. If I'm thinking about sending an email to yeah. someone, mm -hmm. first and of all, late. they mm -hmm. are allowed not to see it. But sometimes I don't want to bother them. Or even sometimes I don't want them even to think that I'm working at that time. Something like that. And I just schedule it to arrive the next morning at 8 a.m. See, so mm -hmm. Gmail yeah. has that for free. Uh, I used to pay boomerang, but now it's Gmail mm -hmm, for free. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they all have, all they the all have it now, no the, the, the possibility for you to schedule when you want to, the email to be to mm -hmm. be delivered. I also do that. If it's late, if it's uh, past a certain hour, I always reschedule for uh, first thing in the morning. Yeah. So it's very, it's very And also, easy. one of the things that, that I think that, that you show me regarding whether should we use WhatsApp or should we use Gmail, honestly, I think that... Most of the situations regarding treatment plans, scheduling, and stuff like that, most of things should be based on email. On email, that's what yeah, I think. I, I also WhatsApp, think so. yeah. Mm -hmm. You lose yeah. Track, WhatsApp yeah. is something where, where I need more interaction, and and it lose, mm -hmm. it's not, it, it can never be something that is patient related. Um, it, it's something that okay, I need some, I need some interaction with everybody to see mm -hmm. and to have some mm -hmm. sort of discussion or to book a meeting or something. But um, and sometimes we also we also have a group with the lab, and when things are not well, I I like to post things in that group so that everybody sees them and there is some interaction there. But um, Gmail is my source of uh, of communicate is my mm -hmm. most uh, mm -hmm. used mm -hmm. communication tool mm -hmm. by far. Yes, yes, I think I think uh... you, I think that you also sorry I think you also you you also need to understand the energy of each application, right? And WhatsApp, it's very annoying. It's very, very annoying. WhatsApp is is become very uh, ubiquitous, isn't it? it, it it's, yeah. it's all over the place, and it's 
it's becoming sometimes yes, too much noise. Yes, and you have, you have so a lot of uh, you have a, a lot of uh, groups, and uh, it's uh, yes, it's it, terrible. It can it can, yes. it can become a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. It can become a little bit over yes. overwhelming. So yes. and and like you said, I mean yeah. nowadays these things are or already there are laws uh, uh, concerning uh this this things and um and it's uh it's it's actually not allowed uh for if you are not on your work hours for you to be disturbed and uh and it's not expected and i think things are changing because it was expected for you to be always present and for you to be always responsive uh to the to the whatsapp or to the email and now uh, uh, there was a need uh, uh, to to become all of this in, in legal matter more uh, more uh, simple and clear. Um, but but it's not you are not expected anymore to 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 respond immediate to 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 those yeah. to those messages and and emails. Mm. Um, so I, I always tell my team that look. I tell them, look, you may eventually get an email or WhatsApp, but you don't have to see it. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. the next day, what if you, in the working hours, I mean, it's something, but mm -hmm. it's, you don't have to see it. I mean, if you're on vacation and stuff, we'll only bother you and we will be try to be as respectful as possible with your time. It's something that's really, really important otherwise. Great. Yeah. I think I think that's that's really important. And I think it's really important to be set. Um, because... <laughs> because uh, it is. I, I, you might think it's common sense, but it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not that common. It's not that common sense. It's not that common it's, sense. It's really straightforward. Uh, the more uh, respectful you treat them in the WhatsApp group, I mean, if you if it's very clear that they are not allowed to answer it with outside working hours on vacations, they will be more motivated. They they, they will regard the group as something more respectful and something more pleasant. 100% mm -hmm. uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh... And also, I, I usually, we don't place their jokes and stuff like that, but I don't think that's also an issue. I mean, if, we, if, you, if you, as long as you don't, you know those groups that everybody's always, always placing jokes and mm -hmm. you just ah, yes, forget yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like you said, you have to feel the energy, uh, right? And uh, so, and that's yes, why exactly. I think email is more professional mm -hmm. and that email is where you should deal yeah. with the more professional things. And then WhatsApp, you can be a little bit more personal and just... Well, uh, one, of the things, one of the things in basis. WhatsApp, I mean, just say congratulate someone is someone's birthday mm -hmm. i mean yeah that's it true mm -hmm. that everybody says hi something like that once in a while there can be some some fun moments but i won't make it daily or even mm -hmm. weekly i won't do that because otherwise well, i just think you have to feel it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to see mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. what fits there so i th i think it's uh uh those two things that we just said it's they are very um uh good tips on uh how to uh going back to work after or after a holiday or after you uh went uh you spent mm -hmm. some time uh, lecturing or or doing uh other things uh dentistry related or not dentistry related and you have to go back to the practice so knowing exactly what mm -hmm. is expecting you i think that will be mm -hmm. that will reduce your anxiety uh, uh, a lot Mm -hmm. uh, to know what you are, uh, what's expecting you when you enter the clinic. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. And also to have this, this boundaries, uh, when you are away mm -hmm. from the, from the clinic. Um, so I think mm -hmm. th this two, uh, these two, uh, tips are, are, can really make, make, make an impact and on you going back to the practice and also on how you, uh, are uh when you are away from the from the practice uh because if you are always uh with um well, let's go back to the whatsapp group if you are always with messages and uh, with emails and if you are uh concerned about what's expecting you when you when you go back mm -hmm then it's you have that feeling that you cannot completely disconnect and you, that you you yeah. are still stressed even if you are not in the clinic you are still carrying the stress of yeah. the of the clinic with you i also I, I, and just just to finish this part yeah. here of the the communication one thing very important is that if 
there is such a need of frequent communications because the, there's, the systems are not very organized. I mean, you must know exactly, everybody, every nurse and every, every doctor must know exactly at each point where the patient is at and what was done in the last appointment and what should be done for the next appointment. So if, if, if things are pretty much organized, I mean, it, it's not like a dictatorship, but if everybody agrees on a certain system and that things should be organized, if they really are, the need for that sort of emergency communication is very low. Mm-hmm. very low. So it, it, if, if you feel that, oh, what all about, but sometimes this may happen. Well, if that is happening so, so frequently, it's because you are not organizing it's your treatment plans and the schedule of the patient. It's because something is failing. I mean, you are in a reactive mode and not a, a, a proactive mode. Mm-hmm. This is why, again, initial examination, treatment mm-hmm. planning systems and stuff like that, if they, they prevent a lot of issues. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. that can be also... Uh, result if you have such need of frequent communication that can be a result of the systems are not well into place mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so they are totally totally agree so <clears throat> work on your systems that's all what we always yes. what we always say yes. what we always say yes. okay so yes. and what about how to man how to manage the mental work home transition so because we know that dentistry mm. is uh consumes mm. a lot of energy uh, and even if you mm. even if you love your if you if you love your job and uh, if you have fun with mm. it i mean i, I think everyone mm. one point or another um i don't know if you ever faced the challenge of how to to sometimes mm. limit your mental energy uh because mm-hmm. you sometimes days are so intense um that you have difficulties to 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 disconnect um do, did you ever face this uh, this situation did you have a you this like, need okay so so what you mean is like okay uh let me see if i understand i'm tomorrow i, I just came from vacation tomorrow i'll have uh, full days of work you mean the mental attitude the day before or in the day that I'm there? Well, you you can you, you can say you can say both. You can say you can uh, you can uh, explain okay. to me how you have how what's your mental attitude in the day before okay. you start working when you are yeah. on vacation, and yeah. then I want to hear about when you are at the practice. How on on a week that, for example, if you have four days of of uh, clinic work. How do you disconnect yeah. uh, from work to to home? But tell okay. me before about your mental attitude uh, from when you before. come from vacation and you start working. Okay. okay. Um, I, I, I don't know if I am uh, a good example because I am... Uh, I'm always looking forward... Uh, and again, I... I think work is a very heavy word. I'm, I, I'm always looking forward to see how things are going. Something that I've uh, uh, that I've uh, tried so hard to to set for many years. You know, I'm always mm-hmm. curious. So I, so I don't know if I am a very good example, but I'm always curious to, to see how things are going. Um, that's one thing. But I think that th- there really is one thing which is. Um, I don't think that it's is usually talked that much, which is um, let 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 me see if I can. Okay, so I a, a, apparently even today Manuel Neves was telling me, look, I envy, I, I, I I'm really so happy. Manuel Neves is a guy that I work in one of the practices that I work in, one of the practice that I work in, in Porto one day a week, and he was telling me, look. I've, I'm so happy for you. You have a hell of a life. You travel as so much, and I'm really happy. You can I can really see you're having fun and stuff. And I was I was thinking, yeah, he's right. You know, it's it's he's right. I'm I I I, I work a lot and and I also have a lot of fun. It's just just a good a good stage in my life, I guess. Um, what about the jealousy that can, that can create in my team or my, isn't it? You think it creates jealousy? Isn't it? No, no, I don't think it creates jealousy, but it's very, I, I mean, I, I think that I am very good at predicting human behavior, you know, within an organization. I'm very good. 
and especially avoiding that and making the systems to avoid that. So do I think that my practice, do I think that they feel jealous for me? No, honestly, I don't think. I never think that. And for several reasons. First of all, because I want the best for them. Uh, let me give you examples. Um, I try to go towards what each dental nurse wants in my practice. I mean, if someone is more design driven, I let them do more social media. If something, someone is more administrative given, I try to. I mean, I, I try to to make them happier, and also financially, I do my best to to, to make things fair. Um, to my staff, I think I pay them uh, what I believe to be fair for 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 the small practice that it is. I help them uh, uh, financially taking education. Um, they know that I do a big effort to get to find patients for them. Mm -hmm. um, they know that, I, that, that I'm willing to help them in, in any way. Uh, they know that I will tolerate technical mistakes, but I will not tolerate organizational mistakes. That's a different story. So I, I think that they that they understand that I have their back, and therefore I, I believe that they have my back as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I try to place myself in a position where I very frequently say that I'm sorry that I, and that I was mistaken. So I think this is a very important element here, because if you separate from your practice that much, and if you have the kind of life that I've been having, for, for example, over the last year, which is probably, I don't know if I maybe next year as well. But I mean, I've been traveling a lot. I've been meeting very different places. I've been bringing a lot of people with me. But for example, one of the things that my, my staff also knows is that for next year, I will bring some of the doctors that work in my practice to travel with me as well and to lecture with, with, with me as well. So I think that making them feel engaged in the situation and making them feel part of the success that I have I think it's a key element here. Uh, this is why I'm telling this is why because the, the opposite of the spectrum, which is quite likely to happen, is that okay, this is my practice. I am here, my dental staff is here, nurses. I'm going on vacation, I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna paste a lot of things on social media. They're, they are gonna see it, and then I'm gonna come back. And it's very easy for human nature to say, well. While he, while he was having fun, we were here uh, with shit up, up to our chin, taking care of things and stuff like that. Do you understand that attitude? Yes, I understand. But so, it's yeah. like you said, it's all about those key things that you said, because I'm sure that when yes. you go back, you don't start complaining that, oh, my God, and... Uh, I spend a lot of money and I don't have money for this and this and uh, look, I, do you understand? <laughs> exactly. Do you understand what exactly. I'm, I mean? Exactly. Because all, I know situations like I know game. situations like uh, yes. like this. I mean, yes, I it's it's, awful. Uh, look, it's I, awful. I I gave a mindfulness training in a practice uh, um, in in, uh, in in Belgium, and. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, because the 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 owner of the practice did the the the, the stress reduction course with me and then he asked me mm -hmm. to give the uh, like a workshop to the to the mm -hmm. assistants so i was one day with them and as you know i mean the assistants they know everything about the the the, the clinics and they know i mean they are the face of the clinics and they know everything and the doctors and everything and it's so so it was so who's, interesting who's, who, et cetera, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. It, it, it was so interesting <laughs> to see them at a certain point they were they were uh, loosen up even because of the exercise and everything and it mm -hmm. was so interesting for them to, to at a certain moment they were speaking to each other and they were talking about which uh, doctor you know it, uh, that he does not have money, but he has always the most expensive bags and uh, Louis Vuitton <laughs> and this. But he always complains that's about the kind money. Of things that and, I'm the, and the yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. That's what I'm saying. I'm sure you do. You, you do not do this. You 
do what you were saying. You engage with your team. You bring your team to, 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 to yeah. your work. You, you try to, yeah. to understand what the, what, what are their needs how can you help them grow and strive in your yeah. in your practice yeah. what they like to do try to, you yeah. try to compensate them financially so uh, there was yeah. the going back to the to the to this practice there was the other one that uh, she always um, also because this is very interesting it's all about money money is a big thing in, in the yes. industry as we all know and then this show and dentists show position through the way they dress through the money. the uh, the automobile the that they they, they, they drive the vacations the bags that they they have but then they forget yeah. that they spend the day complaining to their assistants and that their assistants make fun of them because and this is very sad actually the assistants make fun of them uh be, because they see they see that they earn a lot of money that they spend it all just to an appearance yes. yeah and that and one of them even say look i have a better life than these people i earn 10 times less than them and i have a, a better life than uh, than uh, than yeah. than the, all the dentists yeah, i work I'm, with I'm... I'm I'm so glad that you touched this point because I think that's one of the things that people are really not into too much talking. I mean, th th there's a lot of. Um, I mean, we we all have and it's, our it's said that saves, we see right? colleagues complaining about money to people yeah. that like earn ten times less than them, but they do it. So yeah. this it's like yeah. I said, no self awareness yeah. and no responsibility. Yeah. But this happens. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I yeah, I, I'm so happy that you that 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 you, that you brought this to the spotlight because I, uh, that that was that was the kind of things that that I was going through in a, in a different way. Like you get you get you get you come from vacation and, and you may get some jealousy. I mean, exactly those 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 signs of status uh, they are very common, especially in the industry. Um, I am. Uh, uh, I, I think that I sometimes go a little bit too much over the other edge uh, because I am a bit, uh, I am a bit, uh, how can I say, I am a bit, I, I'm a, I, I tend to, I tend to disengage very quickly from whenever I see that attitude, but sometimes that's not very healthy from my part because there are some, sometimes some interesting people that I sometimes disengage just, be, just because they are, uh, dressed in a certain way or very flashy or stuff like that. So I'm, I I do have some issues with that, and I usually disengage very quickly from those sorts of environments. And um, and for example, I, I I remember of even giving a lecture in uh, I think it was last year uh, that I was giving a lectures in the Douro uh, region, and I arrived there with my Volkswagen T1 on gas, running on gas, because I, I like to place my surfboard and go everywhere. And I, it was by far the worst car in the parking lot. And I, I, was, I was giving the lecture there. And it really made me think, look, um, André, you should reconsider your, your, your relationship with cars and stuff, like, because sometimes this gets too obvious. I mean, it makes no sense for you. To, but, but, but to go to your point, yes, I, I think that you have to be reasonable and conscientious i mean and responsible i mean you cannot try to be someone outside of your practice and on, on your social media and on a lifestyle and then arrive at the practice and act like you had to uh that you don't that uh, you should that you don't have money that you should pay them less i mean if you are living a lifestyle of vacations and stuff like that I think it's really important that your team. I mean, in in my in my case, it is vacation. I do spend a lot of money on vacation, money and time on vacation and time off. I do that. I mean, maybe that's just the, the same thing as uh, I don't know. But um, if you do that, I think it really is important for the for the team to feel that you are only doing that because you believe to be. Uh, doing the best for the team, you know, uh, that's what I think. Uh, um, because otherwise, you may create a situation. And by no means you should ever say that. Oh, um, 
I mean, if you don't have money, it is because you don't have money, but you are also sacrificing your own personal life. I mean, because it's very, I, I'm, I'm not saying that you should be miserable because, because your business is bad, but I don't think it makes that much sense to be showing off a, a wealthy lifestyle and a status lifestyle just because, uh, and at the same time, always complain to your practice, to your staff, because they will not like it and they will be unhappy and they will not have your back mm -hmm. and they will very easily not support you uh, behind your back. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you have to be careful with that. And the reason why I, why I, why I talked to you about this was, um, was because of that exactly. I mean, if I am traveling that much uh, and if I arrive, I, I need to be... <laughs> I need to be conscientious that, yes, I am doing that, but at the same time, I'm making the practice for you, for you to thrive mm -hmm. and to, and, and, and I'm willing to, even for example, the, the, uh, last, uh, the last month, September, it's always like that. There's a drop in patients and okay, well, there's a drop in patients. Everybody has been complaining in Portugal about the drop of patients in the last month. I think it's all over Europe because of, of the eventual recession yeah. and uh, the, the, the taxes of the, the credits and stuff like that, and also because kids come back to school, and uh, and I said, okay, well, let's do this. Let's let's message all of our patients that have not been uh, in the practice for more than two years. Let's let's recall them and see. Well, if you are not being uh, if you are not being followed by someone else, just make sure that you come and stuff like that. I mean. There's some active um, active effort in making sure that they do have uh, they do have patience. I mean, I, I think you have to be reasonable. I mean, I, I think that looking at human nature, you you need to you fundamentally, I think you need to understand that you are exactly the same value as anyone else that works with you. It is not because of the fact that you have. Um, studied five or six years in, in, a, in a health degree just sometimes because your parents allowed you to do that. I think you have to make, you, you need to respect people as much as possible and, and, and you need to have this human uh, respect for the human emotions and the human life that they are just as equally valuable as you and that you are not the center of the universe. If anything, if anything, it's not you that works, it's not them that work for you, it's you that works for them, actually. Yeah. And I think that is the, really the spirit. If you want to open a practice in the team, you really need to embrace the fact that you are working for them. Yes, you may be paid for that. You need to be paid and you need to be paid for your stress and stuff like that. But you are responsible for creating an environment where things make sense more than making money. Things that they need to make sense. They need, of course, to be financially sustainable. But they, 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 you need to create a, a small universe where uh, people feel safe. I think that really is the, 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 the most, one of the most important things of, of, of creating a business. Mm -hmm. It's creating a safety where people can be creative and when, where people can, can be safe and where people, they can organize their lives. And I, I think you should never forget that responsibility. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, you... you if you are a leader, you have additional responsibilities in the way that you. Yeah, and no, but I think that also things are changing because if you if you look at the most, yes, a few years ago it was it was still. I, I remember telling me. I remember one of the one uh, someone telling my dad that was like when I opened the practice. And by the way, my parents they 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 helped me open opening the practice. Um, but I remember that I, when I was in the summer, I, I always use um, sandals to go to the practice. Um, flip flops, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's. I always go for, and I you always go on shorts. And I remember that in the, in the first years when I opened the practice, I was um, I was joked about that. I mean, I'm, there's a dentist. I mean. He should be a good dentist. Mm -hmm. Only after a few years, that someone com someone commented with my parents saying like, "Oh, I remember a few years back, people would mock your son because he would he would go with flip flops to the practice." Now it really is someone that that like is a reference in town and stuff like that. And and but if if you look at the most successful people on on the planet now, that's why I'm telling that things are changing. I mean, if you look at people like Elon Musk and 
Zuckerberg and uh, Jeff Bezos and all these guys. I mean, they really live most of them quite simple lives, not very flashy lives. And they, even in terms of clothes, they almost always wear, wear the same clothes. Not 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 to not to have to think have to think about that. I mean, most of them they they are not flashy people. And I think that the younger generation is starting to realize that, that what really matters is what you create and how things create. Yes, it's true that especially in Portugal, I don't know if, I think in Europe, but in Portugal also, there is lots of that status stuff uh, with the car and stuff. I, 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 I don't know why that happens. I've, it was some, it's something that I've never been really a part of. I do... Um, I do uh, relate myself to some of those people, but not that much. But I, uh, I understand that. I, I understand that there is that. But you should really be careful and you should think twice. If it, There's nothing wrong with you wearing Yves Saint Laurent, Versace and Armani stuff. And there's nothing absolutely wrong with that. Um, I, I also have the brands that I like. But the thing is that you, you need to understand... The, the the message that you are passing out there. And, and also, at the end of the day, if, if you really think that your value comes from the things that you wear, I think you're heading for disaster. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think... It makes much more like... sense to, to make, much make... It makes much... If, if you, all, if you look, really want to look good... The best thing is to invest in in your body and your health. That's mm -hmm. that's the best. That's and the, and the, even and even if you like, I mean, and even healthy. if you like fashion, as long as it's an expression of yourself, you can have fun with it. I mean, uh, as, exactly. And that's, yeah, that's Absolutely. it. That's, you can Absolutely. have fun with it, and if you like it, and it's a, it's a way of you expressing yeah. yourself and presenting yourself to yes. the world. But yes. but have fun and 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 use it as an expression of your creativity. We already talked about yeah. a lot of that. You Not know that you have. To, that, yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can express your creativity, and some people they like to to express it through their clothes and their makeup, you know, and their hair. Uh, yeah. Use it, it, but as as a, as a way of 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 uh, of, uh, of art, even right, not as a status. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's that's very that's that's very interesting. That 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 part. That's a very important distinction. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's a very important uh, distinction. It was something that I that I learned to do, you know, at some, uh, at the, there was a, a moment in my life where I stopped going to the Congress in, in Portugal because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't identify myself with I that. Understand. And I like to go with I jeans and sneakers understand. and uh, yeah. it, it, you couldn't, it's like you could not, you know? So, and, um, and so I stopped going, mm -hmm. and it was like, and and I and I and I really like, you know, to to like to buy the the pink sweater if I if I like it. So it's a way of me express of yeah. presenting myself, of expressing myself. That was mm -hmm. a shift that I that I had to do, and I say, okay, there's nothing wrong with it. Just 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 do it if you yeah. want to do it. Just do it yeah. for yourself, so you to 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 feel good. So I think it's yeah, uh, but in the industry, still, yeah. in the industry, there's a lot of that. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot of the status stuff, mm -hmm. which but, which uh, almost there isn't in like engineering or informatics or stuff. But going stuff like that. going it's much more uh, a little bit uh, back to what you said and and uh, and to that um, uh, point of uh, of you uh, how you present yourself to your team and how you make sure that you have an healthy environment and that you don't have jealousy and, and all of that. I think it has a lot to do also with what you mentioned in one of our talks, would you uh, uh, um, really uh, practice what you preach? You know, you, you said that when you were in Brazil with your family that you observed that. So, um, to be in an environment that it's really this is what this is what you see it's what you get so you really uh, practice what 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 you preach and you are authentic and you present yourself with with that I try to I I try to um, mm -hmm. I I try to I try to I, I because people uh, feel that one of the, one of the one of the biggest goals, one, one of the biggest goals that I had a few years ago, I remember that clearly, is that I will not try to ever in my life try to uh, look like something that I am not mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. working towards. Yeah, that's I, it. I, I don't want that. I, I don't think that because that's very draining. Mm -hmm. 
that is very draining. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think it comes a lot with acceptance with, mm -hmm. of your yeah. own limitations. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, there that's are many it. things in... The, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I think there, there are many things that I have that are good and are just the, the same amount of things that I have that are, <laughs> that are bad, you know. And I think that if you are aware of them and if you are responsible, especially with the bad part, you can eventually control them, not control them, but you can, you, you can understand that the consequences of, of uh, your darkest side, let's mm -hmm. say it, mm -hmm. your because most shameful side or we stuff. We all have it. Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that you have to, uh, you have to admit to yourself uh, the things that you are not that 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 you like, isn't it? And and yes, it comes from authenticity. I think it does. Yes, mm -hmm. I think it does. Be because, like you it, said, I, if you that's if what you, I try. If you if you present yourself as something that you are not, imagine going back to the example that that we were talking about. Imagining, like presenting yourself with uh, driving this. Uh, I don't know. The, the, I don't know what's the biggest <laughs> car that that is, whatever Porsche or, and yeah. uh, having a, a, a mm. Louis Vuitton and and then arriving, and complaining about money. So <laughs> that's a yes, completely. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It yeah. makes no sense. Yeah. So I I believe in the leadership uh, style where you can completely feel responsible for the thing that you are creating. Yeah, taking responsibility. That you feel a big responsibility. Yes. yes. I, yeah, I, I think that can be overwhelming. Yes, that can be overwhelming. But I, I, I don't find any other way. I mean, taking responsibility does not mean taking complete control over. It's like setting a ground for letting people be happy and feel safe. That's, that, that, that's for me, what it means. And uh, in, in everything, I think there's a balance. But I think that I, I think that if your staff feels that you are willing to create something that their comfort is as important as your comfort, and their life quality is as important as your life quality, and you want them to feel safe working them. And you want to show them, the, the, look, I, I believe that you should go this way. And, and if you are flexible in that stuff, and, the, and also the fact that they understand that for them to earn money, money must come in. I mean, if there's this transparency, I don't think that you, even if things go wrong, at least that you'll have, at least in the end, you'll have their respect. And, and I think that's, that's very important. But if you are financially responsible for stuff, I mean, you can prevent a lot of issues. This is why we talk so much in the course about the, the importance of financial uh, awareness of what's going on. I mean, if people understand that you are trying to get things, uh, trying to get on top of things and that you anticipate and you have systems that, that can give alarms if things are not going wrong, right? I mean, it, I think that you will have more respect from them than that jealousy of you coming from vacation of, or, or jealousy of, of stuff like that, that, that dissolves itself. Mm -hmm. That dissolves itself, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Totally agree. Also, one of the things that I, I, I wanted to talk was, yes, that is, how do you, uh, what hap, how, how do you approach the, the way that the, the, your time out from vacation and you, and you go on vacation? Because one of the things that, that uh, uh, a few years back, it was like the car and the house and uh, the clothes. And there's this shift now, it's regarding the lifestyle. The lifestyle is the status. The social media lifestyle is the status in a certain way. And, and it is true. So if, if you are on vacation and you've showed this, I mean, uh, it's, this it's one like if you don't post, on, uh, it's Maldives like you, you are not everybody... doing it. So you have to post I mean, it. <laughs> it's, it's like like... It's just like, I mean, you are not in a true relationship if you don't place photos on the Maldives, are you? Isn't it? Your relationship is not serious if you don't go to the Maldives and place photos. That's what I think now. So everybody's going to the Maldives and take photos to say that they are really in love. Otherwise, they are not really that much in love, which I found a little bit uh, at least very low in creativity. That's what I think. 
but whatever. If 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 you do that, and we know that you spend a lot of money to go to the Maldives, right? To be completely alone, which is fine. I understand that. Um, you cannot arrive and say that, oh, um, at least not complain. You should be complaining, of course. It makes no sense. I really don't think it makes any sense regarding that. So that's one thing. Now, another thing is the preparation. Uh, how would you prepare yourself? Um, the preparation, I think it's pretty, it, it, it's analog to what we were thinking about. Okay, so the, within the day, the, when you arrive home, when you arrive, when you get out of work and when you arrive home. And the first time that I saw something, someone talking about this, and I, it was very recently, I would say maybe about two years ago, it was in a book from Brandon Burchard, mm-hmm. High Performance, where basically he did a study for many, many, for thousands of people that were considered high performance. And they did some, some, it was like a very scientific approach to high performance, whatever mm-hmm. that means. And one of the things that, one of the characteristics of very high performers was the capacity of dealing with transition areas. Mm-hmm. That was very interesting for me because I never thought about it. I would, I would always bring the work home to myself or to, to someone that was with me, to any relationship that I had at the time. And it was really um, something that I really struck me when I will, oh, really? Actually, there needs to be a transition. You, you need to stop and think, well, that was where I was. That was the mindset. And I'm going to enter into a different mindset here. And uh, I, I have to admit that I manage this much better now, mm-hmm. much better. Of course, I always bring things home. Sometimes I get grumpier and stuff like that. Um, but I, I think I'm much better now doing that. I think I am much, much better mm-hmm. now. And I think that you have to stop and think. Okay, so coming from vacation. So, okay, so tomorrow I'm going to have vacation. What is the attitude? What is the attitude that I need to, um, that I need to, what is the energy that's going to be coming out of me when I get into my, with my team? Uh, Will they, will they be missing me? Will I be warmth to them? Will I come there with a thankful energy for them being there for me? You know, and, and or will I go there with like a victorious, I mean, I was here and I was there and I'm the best of the world and stuff like that. And with a very arrogant attitude. I mean, you always have that choice. You can always, I always prefer after vacation, I always prefer to enter softly. To enter them, okay, enter as a part of the team there. So, so the team is working. They have their things are going on and let me fit in at the speed that they are. I don't want to disturb them. Uh, let me slowly step in, in in what you are doing. And then slowly, okay, oh, so our, our things, but always in a, in a very passive way almost. Okay, okay let, let, let me get inside and feel the energy that, that you are going. I don't want to come here and because I am here, things will have to change. No. I want them to understand that they have their own energy and the systems are, the, the, the practice has its own energy. And so let me adapt to the energy that it is at the moment, right? There's always this adaptation. That's, that's the thing that works for me after vacation. I want to go slowly to see exactly, I want to feel how they are. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be a disturbing element. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't want to arrive there, look, here's the boss. Now, <laughs> you understand? No, mm-hmm. I'm here that, and you have to watch out your back now. But that was no, something I want that to, you realized, I right? To, so you did that work to, to, to really see what was your intention, how do I get back, what, to, what is the yes, energy have, that have, I yes, want you to, have, to, to have. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. yes. What's it likely? And again, it's, it's, it's that thing. It's, it, I, it, almost in a sense, it's like, it's like you, are worrying, you are worried about what they are thinking of you. And I think that from a leadership perspective, I think that's important. Mm-hmm. You have to realize what's the kind of energy. Yes, right. 
you know, that thing that we always send across, which is you have to care about other people but don't care about what they think of you, right? Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. this balance. And I think that when you get, when you get, um, um, when you get from a vacation or some time off, you really have to care more about them. Mm -hmm. You really have to care about them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's caring about them, but not caring what they mm -hmm. think of you. I think you have to place more emphasis on, on mm -hmm. caring about them mm -hmm. and try not to disrupt. Because look, I, th I think this is really a really important insight. If you go there with an attitude of over controlling or with an attitude, I am here, let's see how this, I am here because I am here, I want to make sure that this goes well. What you are actually saying to them in an unconscious way is that the practice needs you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And that's the worst thing. The practice does not need you. In my point of view, the practice should not. I mean, they need you, but you are replaceable. So if I enter there as another part of the replaceable machinery, it makes much more sense, even unconscious, even in an unconscious way to them, because they realize, well, Okay, this guy is here. He's gonna here do his job. He's not gonna come here like a hurricane and try to see what went wrong. How much money did you make? No, it's just that the practice is going, and he just came back, and he's just a part of the mm -hmm. machinery, mm -hmm. and he's just trying not to disturb. Of course, that then the, then I'll have to talk to the assistants or our, our things. But I think that always enter softly. Should mm -hmm. enter that softly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That that transition. Mm -hmm. That's Let's, that. That's one of the things that that uh, it works for me. Let me just add. I think it's it's a good tip also that you can do also the same thing when you stop work to prepare for vacations. So it's. I think uh, hmm. I, this is also something that I that I that I do. I'm I also very bad at that. I'm uh, very bad. I I also I I I stop and say okay what is my intention for this vacation? Do I want to rest? Do I want to read? Do I want to what do I what is my intention? You know, I think it's it's because it's exactly yeah. what you what you said. So you can also do the same thing, um, and you can you can check in with yourself to check in what you need of the of that vacation. Uh, mm -hmm. And by mm -hmm. doing that check in, you can do see, a checklist. Do a yeah. checklist of what you want things that you yeah, want to do. Yeah, that's it. So you can you, you can bring. like you said, what is the attitude that I will bring for this vacation? What is the energy yes. that I will bring from this vacation? Yeah. I think it's it's also very useful, and it's a way of you to really s switch off from the work mode and to the new intention and to the new attitude of of, of vacation uh, mode. I think that's also a, a good tip. So um, this this check in with yourself and to really understand what is more useful uh, for you to to bring to, to the time that you're going to have either is time free or like you said when you when the holidays are over and then you go back to 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 work but this is this is something that it's part of the yeah of the self awareness uh, uh, process to, to really be aware of how you feel, what you want to give, how do you think it's best for you to present yourself, what is more useful for you, for your team. Um, but if you if you don't if you don't stop, and sometimes when I say these things, I always have this uh, this uh, uh, reaction of oh yeah, but who has the time for that? But do you don't need much time for that. I mean, you need, <laughs> you, need to, no, you, no, you know, you need five, ten minutes. Sometimes you, uh, you just need to think for yes to yeah, think about it. That's it. Exactly. That's it. You really need to do this uh, check in, and if you you if you start doing this, this yeah. like like you said, it's all it's all training. Um, it's it's become much easier, and it's it's, it's not even an effort uh, to do that uh, nowadays uh, mm -hmm. for me it's it, it's it's very yeah. easy to to do that so i think this is a very uh, very mm -hmm. easy way for you to make the transition uh, not only from work to holidays but also from holidays to 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 work and you ex you explain it in a, in a beautiful way and and i think it's it's really well well said because uh, the way that you said that you do it it's like it's an easy uh it's an easy flow it's just like okay i'm here but you continue yeah. to do your work i'm here to add yeah. something yes, to to exactly. you um yes. so it's not yeah. like uh, uh okay he's here now the boss is the, here yeah yeah <laughs>
that's it to that's like a you really said, to i think it really and, is uh, mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's very tempting to do that but it's also very unhealthy mm -hmm. uh yeah but maybe it has to do with what you said also with this idea even if it's in an unconscious way that um the practice does not work without you so yeah. that you are needed yeah. there uh for that to yeah. to to yeah. work so when you have this need yeah, of I controlling think, yes. uh, everything and then and then yeah. that that's yeah. really you you sh even if you don't want to show it you you end up showing it on your actions and in your words yes and in exactly. your energy because exactly. that's what your energy will uh, exactly. will will say also exactly mm -hmm. yes you have to create space for them to be willing to to work and do their own mistakes, of course. And and uh, one of the things that I, I even was almost about trying to propose as a theme is the make an episode about uh, a number. The number is seventy to eighty, and I love that concept of not being perfect and striving mm -hmm. for functionality and optimizing for improvement rather than perfection, mm -hmm. uh, because. I think in everything, in everything that we say here in this podcast, I think that both you and me, we never intend to, to, to show people that we are in any way perfect or that we don't do the mistakes or that we don't do the same things that everybody, that everybody does. I think that all the things that we say, and that they will only strike a, some, an audience, the, the best way that they can strike the audience is that if they have done their mistake, that mistake themselves before. That's when change happens, because I don't think that any advice that we give or any recommendation that we give will change someone that has not, will, will, will have an impact in such a way that someone will assimilate that and, and prevent mistakes based on what we said. I think that doesn't happen. What happens is that if you have done those mistakes before, now you understand, sometimes it's good to have this conversation because you, now you understand, well, Yes, I've done this mistake. This is what happened. And yes, it may be a good way to find a solution. But you don't, if you don't have that pain of failing, of doing the mistake, it's very difficult to change. But the, the, the thing that I like about that number, the seven, 70 to 80, is just you have to be very happy with the good enough. I think you need to be able to, to, to really enjoy and be proud of yourself with the 70 to 80. Uh, because um, that's how you get eventually to 100 if you want to, but you have to feel happy with the 70 to 80 because there's only so much, especially when we deal with people, you cannot expect that everybody does everything perfect all the time. And you have to allow that space for error. You have to allow that. Um, it doesn't mean that you will, that, that don't, will not have consequences and stuff like that, but you have to Stop dramatizing the 20% of mistakes that will happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, that you want to reduce them to 5%, to 10%. And some mistakes are more important than others, of course. But you have to be willing to accept that. To, and what, that was one of the things that, that I was probably like to propose to talk in this podcast. It just, I, I mean, already just noted it. Striving for, for perfection. Yeah, striving for, for perfection is really, really unhealthy. And... and and sometimes, whenever we give advice in the course and stuff, I, I, I think that's something that people should always be present, is that everybody does the mistakes. And this is a question of being more happy than the results than, than being unhappy. And, and accept that acceptance, I think it really is important. And, uh, and yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Because, it, it, of course, that there are some days that the transition is not well done. There will be vacations where the transition will not be well done. But I think that if you are aware of that, I mean, okay, yes, I did a mistake here, okay. So it's an ongoing let's move work. On, number one. It's, let's, uh, it's an ongoing, yeah. it, it will never, it will never stop. It will never stop. It's the, yes, it the art of remembering. Stop. You know, I, I and usually, and that's where the yes, mantra that I use to myself. Stop. I have to remember, I have to remember yeah. to do it, you know. It's, uh, and because it will never stop, you should never stop having fun. Mm -hmm. or try yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it should never, be your, your attitude. You always have to, to bring up the, the positive attitudes. Otherwise, it's the negative ones that you grow. Yeah. It's like you grow the... 
you be, you grow those muscles huh? if you if it's just the stress yeah. the the negativity the control the perfectionism that's what will grow that's what you will have on your days if you bring the attitude of having fun and and curiosity and beginner's mind then those muscles will grow that will become your energy that mm -hmm. will become who you are so it's all mm -hmm. about training and bringing the intention of of doing it and mm -hmm. of practicing it uh, but it ma it makes all the difference it works and it makes all all the difference in in your days it is absolutely mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. it's what I, it's what we call in dentistry treatment planning <laughs> <laughs> it's the planning part of that. You yeah. have to stop and think about what you are doing before you actually do that. That's mm -hmm, exactly mm -hmm. true. Yeah, yeah. But 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 I think that you all, you also wanted to. Yes, to, I wanted to, to talk to you that, about that uh, ways to switch off within after, the day after work. So because it's a highly demanding work, you mm -hmm. have a lot of external uh, stimulation. Yeah. There are certain days that are very intense. So how to make sure that you leave work at work and not bring work stress home with you because i think that's yeah. that's a big issue can, for, I, for them yeah I, I can give you for example one of the things that really and this is different for everybody i mean if you have children that's usually one dimension right in a huge one um if you have a relationship or if you have a family or it's but i am for example and of course, that I also have that sort of situation whenever I come home and to someone that is that is at home or to a family member, and that's also important. But for example, I'm, I'm giving you an example. One of the things that I usually do my training in the morning, I do my exercise in the morning, mm -hmm. and I think that that's the best time. But sometimes that needs to be shifted towards the end of the day. And sometimes the time before, the time between I'm leaving the practice and I'm starting the workout, sometimes usually with a personal trainer, sometimes that's that that can be less than 15 minutes. And I am 100 percent sure that my mind is not in the workout most of the time when that time frame is very short. Mm -hmm. um, and the way that I try to deal with that is that I try to have at least like 15 minutes, minimum half an hour, because I want to lay down and I want to close my eyes and I really want to, okay, let's, I'm going to get into a mode which is more centered in myself and in my body. I want to be more connected with my body, you know? Mm -hmm. And that shift for me sometimes is difficult, especially for workouts. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I don't think it is very easy, okay? So especially if you are... Because if it is surfing, it's different because you go to the nature and nature command things and you are just there. And surfing is part of the slowing down process. Mm -hmm. But if you are with a personal trainer, for example, for me, you have, to, you have to be there because there's someone talking to you. You understand? There's mm -hmm. a human being mm -hmm. there. And you have to be present there. But you have to respect the work that they are doing. And for me, I get sometimes a little bit... Uh, my head gets a little bit light. I mean, sometimes it, it gets more difficult to dive into my body and to dive into the workout. And and I think that for relationships, it's like, it is exactly the same thing. Like I was telling you, the first time that I saw this was Brendan Burchard. He was giving an example, and he says that, okay, uh, if you come from your office, just stay in your, in your car like for five minutes mm -hmm. or even two or three minutes and say to yourself what's the energy that you want to bring to your family once you get home. And just try to slow down and try to, okay, what, what would be the best version of myself? How would I be? And it's probably also a more soothing and calming version as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Just to make sure that you enter your family's uh, mm -hmm. realm with a different energy. Mm -hmm. See, uh, yes, what you are saying is because we have a very... Uh, um, uh, intense work that when once it's finished and yeah. once we are out of the practice uh, we should reduce the intensity of our mental uh, energy um, because otherwise yeah. if you are not aware of that you uh, you can risk to not be uh, present, uh, present. for yeah. your uh, for your family and it sometimes yeah. it happens something that is very curious 
it happens this and I hear it uh, this description from a lot of colleagues that do the course with me when they are at work they are thinking about home and about the family and what they have to do at home and the family and if the kids are okay at school etc and then they go home <laughs> and they are thinking about the patient that didn't go well right. and the work of the lab that didn't go well and uh, yeah. so yeah. they are it's not it's it's like they are never there not even for work or mm. for the family so that that advice that you just said um that just uh, takes five minutes either it is in the car or uh, or whatever or you can do i mean i i have colleagues that works they they to they take some time to clear their head they take a walk they have this intention mm -hmm. to really uh make the, that transition from work home with some kind of activity it can it can be deep breathing it can be a uh, uh, light me meditation it can just uh, just or just taking some time like you said in the car listening to to some music that they 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 like just to unwind but what that do is just to reduce the intensity of the of the mental energy and also gives you the chance to set the intention, just uh, like you said, and we were saying before, we talked a lot about intentions uh, today, but it's because it's it really makes a difference. You really have this intention to, okay, this was my day, but it's over. Now I'm going to be with my family. What is the energy that I want to 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 bring? Um, and and uh, and it can even, uh, I mean, uh, if. If you if you are very aware of your uh, priorities, it can even give you the, the the chance when you do that, give you the chance to 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 have the feeling that you are honoring that, those uh, priorities. Because if family is a priority for you, yes. but when you are with them, you are not present. Uh, I mean, you are not an automatic pilot and thinking about yeah. work or whatever. Then you will feel like yeah. you are failing because family is a priority for you and not giving them attention. But you might and, be in a time of your life. Yeah, and, but you might be in a time of your life that you have to work and that you have to show up for work and that you have to be in the practice from nine to nine sometimes because uh, uh, there are times in our life that we have to do that. Um, uh, so that's a way of you showing up also to your family, even if you have to, 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 work, to work hard. So you to be yeah. able to 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 be present. So just those five minutes uh, really have really have an effect. And it's uh, and that, and it's mm -hmm. interesting because you mentioned that work uh, exercise does not work so good with you. I mean, some kind of exercise you said yes. surf works, of but yeah. with a personal trainer yeah. yes. does not work. But it's interesting because there are some people that uh they feel that they cannot disconnect that when you say like ah try to relax and all, all of those things that i said okay just sit in the car or just take some time to clear your head or take a walk they feel that they um they they, they cannot i mean the 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 intensity of the work does not allow them to to descend mentally yeah so Actually, what works is the, is the other is the other thing. So the the instead of, of of slowing down, it's to bring it's to continue intensity. So, for example, with with some kind of exercise that they feel good okay. on doing it, and mm -hmm. that they are engaged, and they feel yeah. that by doing that, that they naturally Brings relax. Yeah, that that's it. So yeah. it's where, and it's interesting because some, and of course we are all different, and that's a good thing because some colleagues, you know, that advice that I always uh, give, you know, to to breathe and to between the patients to do mm -hmm. deep uh, breathing as, as a way to to also slow down and yeah. disconnect the automatic pilot and everything. There are some colleagues, uh, and I have I have been having this. Uh, uh, very interesting feedback that say, oh, but I get, you know, I get sleepy and it's not worked for me. So instead of doing that, they do like push-ups, you know, or uh, so they, they, they activate. Yeah. yeah. So see what works for you. But that, this, this yeah. is a way of you 
after work to bring this this transition mode like you said because it, yeah. it, we need to have this transition because the profession is yeah. uh, highly uh, uh, demanding in a in a mental demanding. way and yeah. if you don't bring this transition then you risk to to not be present with whatever you are doing just like you said it doesn't work for me the personal trainer because i'm not present there so yeah. for me it doesn't yeah. work it, it, I, it's don't, like, I don't i don't enjoy it a, yeah. a, after like mm -hmm. after like 15 minutes i'm i'm so worn out and and they crush mm -hmm. me so much that i stop thinking mm -hmm. about it. but the first 10 minutes i mean they, they are, are being struggling. polite and talking to me <laughs> I'm sure because because I'm just mm -hmm. I'm just in autopilot mode, just talking to them. But in my head, it's the things that I, the emails that I should be sending that night. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, so yeah, yeah. And one of the you know, yeah. one of the, just one of the things that also helps me that that's a very uh, tactical thing, which is um, if I am. Uh, for example, I am out of the practice, I'm leaving the practice, and I have this rule, which is you should always fill the, the patient's files, what you did, and lab communication, and stuff like that. But if I feel that I don't have time, I use this thing, which is Google Tasks, and, and, and I love it. It's like a note-taking. So uh, send communication to the lab regarding patient X. And I know that it is there, and I will not forget mm -hmm. it. And I maybe eventually deal with that some other day, but it just allows me to put that in a box. Okay, it's in a box. I know I will not forget mm -hmm. it because I mm -hmm. always use it next mm -hmm. to my Gmail. G-Task is amazing. Google Task is amazing because it integrates with mm -hmm. your phone. I think one of the, it's probably the app that I use the most, Gmail and G-Task. So if it is in this box, okay, so now I can relax and because I will take care of that in another day. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. urgent. Mm -hmm. That yeah. helps me a lot. Otherwise, that's, I would. That's be that's another great tip huh, to 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 really set uh, uh, what is called a wrap up routine. So to really make sure yeah. that you have this routine, and this should be in your uh, uh, daily uh, basis. That you really, mm -hmm. in the end of your day, it's like imagine you are already late. You just pack your things, and you. Uh, mm -hmm. So there there will be a lot of things that I. It will be on your mind because you did not uh, uh, finish, or at least you did finish not. Yeah. yeah, or at least you did not take action, like you said, to be able yeah. to make sure that you will remember yeah. it. Yeah. So make yeah. sure that you have that routine so that you can really yeah. take those things off of your head. The same thing that you have, you should have, like a, a, a starting routine and like you said it's like yeah. we already uh, uh, said you know to set your intention for the day to really yeah. to bring the the attitude that you that you want to have for the day you should have a, a, a wrap up routine to make sure that you uh, to check all the all the boxes for you when you close the door of the of the clinic that you are not worried about about anything otherwise those things will not will not uh, leave your yeah. head for sure you can you can meditate you, you yeah. can walk whatever you can exercise but those things yeah. will not if you think uh, that i should i should not for, if you think like oh i, I mm -hmm. cannot forget about this you better write you better find a system mm -hmm. not to forget mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. sometimes me, you even Google wake up at night thinking amazing. about that oh i cannot forget about about that <laughs> yeah and <laughs> Do you know what I saw in Latin America? And I saw that a lot in Chile and I think in Peru. Uh, you know, students, they would take notes by sending WhatsApp messages and photos to themselves. And I find that very <laughs> weird, you know. But they did. Have you ever saw that? No. I never <laughs> saw that. You said that WhatsApp, WhatsApp is so central, which I don't think is a good idea. But so central, they would send WhatsApp notes to themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was... Then they would probably search it by date or something. Mm -hmm, like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but but nowadays you have a lot of technology that you can use to to really uh, make yeah. sure because uh, your brain, from the moment that you write it down, that you that you yeah. know that you wrote it down and you will not forget it, your brain closed that that tab. Otherwise, you will have a lot of tabs yes. open in your in your in your brain, yes. and you know, even you're going to wake up yes. during the night uh, remembering it. So this is uh, uh, really yeah. a great tip 
but you have to make it a routine. It's like you have to have the system yes. <laughs> in place. You have yes. to make it a, a routine. I always go in the end of the, if I can, after the appointment, I just go down and write down. But sometimes after the appointment, I have to write down and I have to send the email to the lab. So there's a next appointment, so I don't have time. So at the end of the day, I always go through all the appointments. And so I miss this. Okay, so if I've missed this, I need to write down on the G, G tasks. Oh, that's mm -hmm. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So that I can uh, another very important I thing forget it. another very important thing that I want to to that I don't want to forget to say is this is this by you having uh, this time to really um, uh, having this transition time between work and um, and mm -hmm. and home uh, or personal time or family time whatever it is mm -hmm. it will allow you I, I Either is to reduce the intensity of your mental energy with with the, uh, taking some time to take or taking a walk or just be in your car, or if you are the mm -hmm. other kind with the with the uh, 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 more active, uh, a highly uh, charged, uh, active, intense work. Um, whatever is the way, this is very important because by doing that you are also avoiding the unhealthy ways uh, to uh, completely, you know, uh, absorb your mental energy from transition from, from work uh, to home. And this yeah. can be overeating, mm -hmm. overspending, over drinking, yeah. over yeah. social, over Facebooking yeah. and over Instagram, you know, like numbing yourself. Yeah. So you, yeah. you really have to be very conscious about this. And this is also a, a, a problem among among dentists because yes, is yeah. I, I, I think I do that. I think I do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's numb it. myself with social media scrolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you find this healthy ways of doing this transition, uh, then you will. Uh, and if you have if you are aware of your priorities, um, it will be easier. It, it will be for you to 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 make that transition and to uh, and to be present in whatever you are you are doing. Otherwise, you can engage in this other uh, unhealthy unhealthy ways, and um, and and uh, it's it's very easy for for this to to happen due to the to the intensity because you are tired. You are tired, and sometimes it's mm -hmm. more easy mm -hmm. to eat a pizza and to have a marathon of uh, Netflix or whatever yeah. than to Netflix. meditation. Three episodes in a row. Yeah, than to do yeah. meditation or to do some physical exercise. Or, so this, and I'm not saying mm -hmm. that it's you. I mean, you can you can do it. I'm not saying, but you should be aware that. Uh, when there's that is useful for you so mm -hmm. uh, when uh, you need it not as an act of of indulgence and then becomes a a way of uh yeah, a way of you it's dealing numbing. with the situation it's, it's yeah. just yeah just just want not to think mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. go to the nothing box and just mm -hmm. stay there mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i know exactly how that feels mm -hmm. But it's very, it's very tempting, especially after uh, yeah. very hard days, intense days. Yeah, because you want to, you want not to, basically your willpower is low. Mm -hmm. I just want to do something that it's like basic human nature, which is either you eat or you go to social media or you just drink alcohol or you smoke or mm -hmm. you... Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it could be it, it would probably be healthier just to go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. But uh, between work and sleep, you can uh, you can do some activities also. <laughs> but you know, yes, of course, of course. But uh, a way of of uh, making sure it's to make a plan. Eh? You should you should put these things uh, in your uh, yeah. in your yeah, in your I'm, agenda I'm in your routine. The same, the same way that you plan work and journaling. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. The same way that you plan that you plan work and that you plan cert certain activities, like uh, you know, going with the car to the revision or uh, 
whatever it is, we should plan this activities in the agenda. When I start doing that, it makes a lot, a lot, a lot of, of, of difference to really have uh, those things in my in my agenda, even if it's just like five minutes to 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 journaling or. But it makes it yeah. makes a, a difference if you really to make a plan to do back. it, because yeah. then they will enter on your on your routine, then they will really enter on your yeah. on, our, on your routine. Yeah, you, you only do what you schedule, isn't it? And what you think about True. otherwise, if you don't do it intentionally, no, you do what you schedule. You don't it's do difficult. what you think about. You might have, you might think about doing it. So this is a secret about meditation. Yeah. Sometimes, when I have when I have uh, uh, people asking me about uh, to to support them on how to uh, build a consistent meditation practice, this is the main secret. Part of having a meditation practice, it's to ninety percent of the work is to sit. It's to find the time to sit. <laughs> If you do that, then yeah. you already have ninety percent of the of the work done. So the secret—it's like is, what Stephen Pressfield says. It's like the worst part is not writing; the worst part is to sit down to write. Yeah, meditation is exactly the same thing. So it helps a lot if you have it in your agenda. If you know that from nine until nine fifteen of Monday, uh, Wednesdays, mm -hmm. and Friday, if you uh if you want to do it three three times a, a, a week from nine to nine fifteen it's in your agenda you know where you have to do you know where you have to be you know that you're going to to sit and you have nothing else to do from so you have no no excuses so that's that's part that's part of the work and it makes makes a lot of of, of difference so this transition this uh, uh the way you switch off uh, after work, this transition, it has to be intentional. And again, intention, <laughs> we talked about intention today, but you really have to see what works for you, um, even in a physiological uh, way, what works for you. And you have to make a plan and you have to set that plan in your agenda. You have to make it uh, um, in a way that you know you 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 will do it otherwise because you and we talked about a lot about intentions but we cannot forget that mm -hmm. we have to from the intention then we have to to put it in action so take the action take the action yeah and that makes that that would will make the difference and bring the 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 benefits so uh it's there yeah. Actually, ways of of uh, switch off after work, even even as the work as demanding as dentistry, but it, and, and it takes. What do you think about? Of, I mean, of work. Yeah. Uh, everybody talks about that, of course. I mean, uh, do, do you give any like advice regarding like electronic devices and stuff like that after work? I mean, ideally, you shouldn't, isn't it? One of the things that I, I still do. Mm -hmm. I still I, do, do use a lot of the computer and often in bed, mm -hmm. often in bed, mm -hmm. which is a killer, I know. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I often do that. Yeah. It 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 serves your 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 sleep. Yeah, your sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you yeah. have to do. You have to. I mean, I'm not. I'm not very um, uh, fundamentalist here because I think it's yeah. this all works if it makes sense for you. It's the same thing as meditation. Yes. Like when they say, ah, yeah. but I have to do it in the morning. Yeah, but if your mornings are chaotic and if you have children and you have to bring them at school, yeah. and meditation will not work yeah. for you in the morning. Do yeah. it when it works for you. So I yeah. think it, you have to do what works for you, but you also have to keep in mind that uh, there are certain things that if, I mean, if you have if you have problems uh, sleeping, and if you complain about that, maybe you should think, yeah, maybe I should not uh, bring the, the the PC to to bed. Maybe I should reduce my yeah. my my screen time. So yeah. um, it really it it's you don't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about the perfectionism. Don't try to be perfect. Yeah. Really yeah. see what works yeah. for you and take it from yeah. there. Yeah, w one of the things that would be also a nice um, podcast uh, theme would be the, 
the continuous solicitation from communication apps, whether social media or WhatsApp or Facebook. I mean, it's, it's crazy the amount of people, the amount of messages that I get that actually are work-related that I get through Facebook, sometimes through patients or through Instagram um, or through WhatsApp sometimes mm -hmm. at completely crazy hours. It's just just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just modeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's How addicted a way, it's we a, all are to this constant communication every mm -hmm. time, all the time. Mm -hmm. But that has to do with which were also about. affects the transition. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Which also affects the transition. I mean, mm -hmm. if you get home and, and and if you like, for example, one of the the students of the the, the course that we were seeing that, that she was telling us, I remember that she answered. She spoiled the patients to a point where she would answer them. Mm -hmm. She would answer the WhatsApp. Uh, uh, to the, she would answer the WhatsApp to them every day. And of course, if 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 you Get your patients used to that. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to get a transition, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's impossible mm -hmm. to get home. I remember I was talking to a, once to a pediatrician, uh, a physician, a pediatrician, and she was saying that you have no idea the amount of of uh, online consultations that I have that I give through WhatsApp. They give me pictures of things that you have that. You have even no idea. She, she was even she was even ashamed of telling me. You have no idea the, the kinds of pictures that that fathers give them of 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 the kids. And uh, and I said and I asked, well, do you charge that? I says no. So I think that's starting to I be said, well, charged. Sometimes certain, I tell them, yeah, in certain yes, countries already. Yeah, but and then and then yeah, in Spain there's an app for pediatricians, and it needs to be. But she was basically she would charge and said, "Well, but sometimes I just send them to go to the appointment." Um, but it's it, it, I think it's also has to do a lot with this with this uh, with this subject that we are that we are talking about, which is you, you cannot make a transition if you allow, of course, your staff, which you shouldn't, but even your patients, isn't it? I mean, there needs to be some. Um, mm -hmm. If it is an emergency, if there's a bleeding after a surgery, that's one thing. But you cannot allow them to be, you have to be able to give some distance from that. And, it, and I think that, I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong if you just don't answer a mm -hmm. text or don't answer a WhatsApp or just, just don't open it. Mm -hmm. If it is from a patient if, and if it's not uh, urgent, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think that you should be okay with that. You, sh you should be present when it's needed, but not not all the time. And I think you should be okay with mm -hmm. that. Because and otherwise, also, that transition uh, will never happen. Yeah, and also because, uh, like we were saying, it's a profession that is, has a lot of uh, external, external stimulation. You are dealing with a lot of things, even noise and uh, even uh, an emotional yes. level, everything. So yeah. you should yeah. Yeah. have some silence. No, you should yes. allow yourself to have yes. some silence. That's very, yes. that's very important. Yes, yes, yes. Because otherwise, yeah. you continue on this mode of only um, stimulation, 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 and you don't allow yourself to really uh, reset. You know, to to you, it's you really should really should have even if it's just five minutes, but you should be in um, in silence and to allow to to just to, to to really disconnect and also i think it's very important to to listen to yourself and to give yourself what you need if you are tired just just rest we go back again just just rest there's this i i have this um also, this um, uh, colleague dentist that is working um, uh, with me, she's doing the course in an individual uh, way, and um, and she was she is starting to develop other other um, other interests for, for, uh, other otherwise the dentistry out of dentistry out of yeah. dentistry, and she yeah. realized that she needed to cut she needed to make time for that. Because what was happening is that she had to deal with that after uh, a, a very intense work day and she didn't have the energy. So she cut it on her work mm -hmm. days in order to develop the skills that, that she needed. Because mm -hmm. she was forcing herself 
to after an intense work day to to have like a, a second yeah. uh, a, a second job and it's not yeah. she she, she and it's very violent yeah yeah it's very, you cannot, it's very even violent. if you enjoy even if you, if you, even if you enjoy mm -hmm. it you will mm -hmm. not actually but, enjoy it because you but don't, it's you interesting not... because she related as an acceptance uh, uh, process you know I had to accept it I had to accept it that I cannot do it after work that I need to rest yes I had to accept yes. it that I she's starting yes. just taking two days a month for that she that's her starting mm -hmm. point and that's that's great that's great that's good but she yeah. ex she, she I, I had to accept it yeah and that's it you yeah. have to accept it that you are tired that you need to rest uh so it's also the ability to acknowledge the way that you are feeling and to give yourself what you what what you need to allow yourself to give what you need uh, because sometimes we don't really accept <laughs> that we are tired or that we are uh, i don't know anxious sad or whatever uh, even sometimes we, when things go very well and we have this high energy right but we are tired so mm -hmm. it's a lot of connecting to how we we feel and giving ourselves what uh, what what we need and and also it helps yeah, listening if, to yourself is very important yeah, yeah. and also uh, it helps to have someone next to you that uh, that uh, understands uh, checks you yeah, yeah if you need uh, silence like it's, and it's if you say oh, look already. i'm yeah. i'm tired i need yes. silence you know to Which have is, someone by yourself yes, to say yeah like... okay okay i understand that's important yes also. yes but it's uh when we were talking, I was thinking about one of the things that irritates me the most in my practice, and that it used to be an issue. I had one of the, the systems that would talk very loudly on the phone. And I would always say, look, you, you don't need to. It's just that she was used to that. That that's mm -hmm. what was her style. And it was difficult. It was a struggle of quite a few years. Uh, years. I always had to. Uh -huh. could, yes. It was a struggle of quite a few. I mean, they, she would stop, but then she would. Well, I was like, "Wait, what?" And, and I, and I told, "Look, whenever I come to you, and if I talk, if I talk, um, not if I talk like softer, it's because I'm basically tell, letting you that that you are way too much." And it's very, it's very tricky to to call the attention of someone about that because that can be taken as a personal uh, insult, right? Oh, I've talked loud. I'm, but uh, uh, the way that I that I, that I handled that was um, I hired the, when I started to hire some external uh, help for um, uh, communication like mm -hmm. uh, customer service mm -hmm. uh, in presence and in telephone. One of the things I would tell my customer service uh, that, that's a, actually a very nice tip: if you hire some customer service uh, help from someone outside that goes to your practice and gives the course or something. You should always tell them what the things that are going on with some of each person that you believe, and you should always give them a profile of each of the persons, and not in a negative way. But look, I think this is going on. See what you find. And I remember having talked about that. That I have an issue with this person here that she talks very loud. Can you help me with that? And they would, in a soft way, letting them know, like, look, this is not okay. And this can be disturbing for the rest of the practice and for the rest of the patient. But yes, it is something that really annoys me. I, whenever someone peaks their voice or just, it really is, for me, it really touches my buttons because I'm very used to try to use my voice to calm down patients and I want to have like a drama-free environment and I always try to, to use my tone of voice to do that, to achieve that. When someone raises the voice like they are talking louder than what they need, for me, really is an issue. It really was an issue when, with some of my staff for a few years. Mm -hmm. Now for imagine getting home and having. <laughs> you'd get you. I mean, if it's if it is your partner, get a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> if it is your kids, just. Accept it. Yeah, yeah. But if it is our partner, if the tone if the tone of voice bothers you, I would go. For, I would. I would <laughs> yeah, file for yeah. divorce. Something That's non-negotiable. Something is wrong. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to add something. I I think I no. I think that all all we, all my tips. I think I I gave them. <laughs> I think that we covered a lot of things, and I think it was. I, I think many of the, the things that we talked are actually very interesting, and I think that uh, usually things that are not talked about when we are talking about uh, <clears throat> our personal integration in, 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 in the, the professional part. And I think that we have touched some very interesting things. Mm -hmm. Looking forward for the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. And um, uh, I think I, it was, I, th I thought it was very interesting also. And we touched an, uh, an idea that I always like to reinforce that physical presence doesn't always equals mental presence. So just uh, be yeah. very aware if yes. you want to, this yeah. shift to happen, where is your mind? Because you, mind, you might be there yeah. and your body might be there, but your mind is somewhere else. So you're not, yeah. if your priority yeah. is uh, your family, then you are not uh, respecting that. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Andre. Yeah. It was lovely once thank again. Thank you, Manuela. And um, thank you for the ones listening. Don't forget that we have our Conscience Leadership course with a new date in April. Uh, six, seven, and eight. What are the dates? April. Six, seven, and six, eight. Six, seven, and eight. April 2023. Uh, it's the okay. new date. Sign us again. Six, seven, and eight of April two thousand twenty-three. And in Sagres again, right? In Sagres again, exactly. yes, 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 yes. Yes. So just go to softbites dot online. Exactly. Six, seven, eight. Perfect. Just go to softbites dot online, and you have all the information there. And thank you so much for listening. Actually, it's it's exactly in the Eastern break. Yes, it is. Isn't it? It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Very and then good. Sunday, it's uh, Eastern Sunday. Perfect. It will be a blessed course. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Andrea. Thank, thank you for everyone for listening. We thank hope you. that this was useful for you guys, and we see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.